Hi, this is Sanjay Gangal from GIS Cafe. I'm here with Sam Bopre, GIS analyst at GeoPlus. Hello, Sam. Hi, Sanjay. How's it going? Uh, going great. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Sam. Uh, uh, so tell us first about GeoPlus. Uh, GeoPlus is actually, um, I won't lie, it's my dad company. And I've been, uh, I've been, he's been the land surveyor and the company has been existing for 36 years now. And I've joined, I've worked there earlier in my life. And now uh, I used to be a land surveyor up north and everything. And I joined back the company about a year ago. And the plan is to, um, well, not take over, but uh, yeah, take over in a, in a few years and they hopefully bring Joe Plus uh, on another level. Okay. It's, it's already it's already a well-established company, but I mean, there's always a uh, always place for progress. And uh, uh, what are the main... Uh offerings of geo plus um well in 36 years there's a it's software so we do product and uh and solely product so um in and, and there's been a lot of product through through 36 years you can you can imagine what what the what the computing was in the in the 80s and 90s um but right now we do offer our two biggest solution our biggest solution is, is vision lidar is a is our it was our first um very our own product our own platform and is to analyze uh point cloud so we i think it started in 2017 i believe and in since 2021 we have a deep learning and now we 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 went uh, well well past our beginning and now it's a it's a it's a very fun software it's fun to work uh, to to uh, develop new features every day for uh, for this software, and we do we do have also a, a SaaS version, a 365. So it's a it's a more or less the not more or less there's the same function. There's a, obviously a, the deep learning is is a quite tricky to go to go uh, use GPU online right now. Uh, we're getting there, but but not right now. And um, yeah, so that that will be our main main focus of our two software, and there's still. Um, I would say the other 50% of the business is uh, probably uh, plug in on AutoCAD, MicroStation, and, and also BriskCAD. So this is, uh, it's always been the core of GeoPlus to fill to finish, uh, optimize, optimize fill to finish processes. So everything a land surveyor or civil engineer will need from the, from the field to, to go to uh, his final drawing, the, the signature, what's, what's worth money. Uh, we, 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 like I said, the core of a business is really to optimize every process, uh, during the, during the field to finish. Okay. And, and uh, so tell us more about your vision LIDAR software. Yes. Um, yeah. So like I said, we, we started the, 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 it's really been expanding since 2021 with the deep learning because a lot of we, I don't know if we were too early or something, definitely not too, never too early. But I mean, uh, a lot of people were a little bit uh, not scared or afraid of point cloud because it's it's a lot of data. It's it's very time consuming. Um, a lot of people were like, well, I have my points. I shoot a, like a lens surveyor. We only shoot his only point and that's what he need and then go back to, to the office. So to have that, that amount of data was uh, was quite tricky at the start, but with the um, um, it's really with the NVIDIA card, Any, anybody that, 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 that is close or have heard of AI in a recent year know probably about NVIDIA and how much they're far uh, in front of, of everybody else. So we do use those NVIDIA GPU card. And like I said, since 2021, we're able to, we let user create their own deep learning model, their classification model. So you can pretty much train your, your, your computer to recognize any, any pattern of point or any, like I said, it, we have, it's, it, goes, uh, it goes to a wide, wide range of application. But let's say you wanna, you wanna find every pole or every, every it's, it's pretty much anything you want the, the computer to, to recognize, it'd be able to recognize if it, if it had a distant, distinct geometry, we do, and you can also add the color and the return of intensity of the of the laser. Okay, and, and uh, what are some of the industries where uh, this thing is useful? Uh, well, we started, uh, like I said, the, the core for the 36 year been land surveying and civil engineer, 
And right now, since um, since the breakthrough with, with deep learning, we've been to manufacturing. The right now, uh, a, lo a lot of, of uh, in manufacturing, they scan their their factories and they want to optimize. So we went to that. Uh, we, we like like I said, we never expect to to go this way, but now we are. Um, there's telecom comp company that want to estimate every building or every uh, fiber consumption. It's uh, yeah. So I would say mainly construction, but in engineering, but it goes uh, the, the 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 point cloud really um, bring us to another level or another like he, it, it first or it was very narrow and now it's pretty much wider to anybody that want to use point cloud and doesn't want to uh, like I said it's super heavy, super time consuming. So right now we're just helping business to. Uh, to use the point cloud and not be scared anymore to use it. Okay, and and your software, uh, uh, who are the primary users of your software? Are the architects and engineers? Mostly, mostly I would say. And and firstly, first it was a lot of uh, of uh, rail rail industry in Europe is is very much uh, like I said another another field of of application. We we didn't thought about it first. But uh, we have a lot of clients in uh, North Western Europe, North Norway, France, uh, the UK. Pretty much, it was a, a, a large amount of data to to analyze. And right now, in the recent year, we're going also uh, more uh, for insights, insights scanning. Uh, so the BIM, and we're trying to find new application for quality. And uh, like I said, it's it's going well, but it's uh, it's. Sometimes it's it's too wide, so we we need to to bring back the focus and uh, do what what we're best at. And right now it's it's uh, classification for point cloud. Okay, and uh, uh, can you also talk about uh, the industry's future and uh, BIM GIS collaboration? Right. Um, well, before that, I used to be a, a BIM coordinator also, so I I, I know a, a bit about business. And the BIM is is really expand. Well, it's 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 uh, it's well all machine right now, and in the, in the building industry at least, because in the civil it's it's another world. It's still two D two D plan and and but the building it it got it grew so fast because the the space was so um, much more limited than than being outside and and what. And that that's for the inside for the building. And what people realize, it's good to have the BIM model. But if it's only a building living in a in a neighborhood, there's nothing. So the BIM GIS, I believe, is really helping to um, for sustainable urban planning, for uh, to really help to get smarter city. I guess I I know I and uh, the other thing is the 15 minute city. I know it's a concept that the I don't know. I heard a while a conspiracy theory is that uh, now right now it's a uh, it's a it's a conspiracy to have a 15 minute city, but I, I do believe in in this uh, in this type of approach because I think uh, it's well I've 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 did both I've, I've I've I used to work at a place I did three hour car per day, and it was not I don't think it was sustainable for a long time and and also I went biking uh, by, by bicycle to to my work and I think it's much more fun to, to do everything inside of 15 minutes. So I, I guess the, sorry, I went down the rabbit hole a little bit, but uh, I think the BMGIS collaboration is really helping the industry to create a smarter neighbor, neighborhood and have a, a more sustainable future. Okay, and and uh, uh, what is the software integrated with? Uh, which other, uh, uh, AutoCAD, Map3D, uh, uh, yes. any other applications? So yeah, yeah, so we do have a, a couple of plugins for uh, mainly AutoCAD, Civil 3D, MicroStation, and more uh, and more recently BrisCAD. Uh, well, it's still been 2015, I believe. So, but uh, we do have also a plugin for uh, ArcGIS online. So mm -hmm. we're trying to connect also with with GIS, and there's a bunch of export format. So you can connect also uh, to Reno. We have a couple of clients that use Reno. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much QGIS is very, very much popular also in the in the GIS world. So uh, yeah, we I, like I said, we, we know that the industry right now is you need to uh, you need a couple of software to be efficient or uh, to at uh, least complete complete a process. So 
we know we are good at we're very good at something but it's it's uh, it's only a part of a whole process so we're trying to trying to be uh, good at that and out the others okay. Yeah, so, so, so there, there are a lot of companies doing point cloud processing from LIDAR. Uh, and uh, so what makes your solution unique and differentiated? Why should somebody uh, bother with Geo Plus versus going with anybody else for point cloud processing? Uh, the, well, the, like I said, the, the biggest, what's, what makes us different is really the deep learning part. Uh, there's not a lot of, I, well, I like to say we're the only one, but I, I know it's only right now because it's it's uh, nothing nothing static in this world. Because I saw there's a couple solution that that offer deep learning classification, but the only one I saw right now are, are SaaS solution. So we do we do have a lot of clients, sometimes public company or uh, government. They don't want to put their really their data or even construction company. They don't want to put their their data all the data online and you don't know where it's processing and you 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 you, you, you kind of lose um, a little bit of your ownership so vision lidar is is solely on your computer so you create your own data and i like to say it's a it's a little bit of a double edged sword because you need to create your deep learning model but then you can reuse it over and over and you're the sole owner of that the, of the deep learning classification model so that's that's what makes us different because, uh, like I said, the right now the others are SaaS uh, SaaS uh, computer or or SaaS solution, and right now we use the GPU on on your computer. So a lot of a lot of privacy is obviously is a is a, a very actual problem you say, and uh, or uh, is in this day and age. So uh, we do, there's no, no worries for privacy uh, with version either. Uh, uh, Sam, uh, um, GeoPlus is, uh, 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 GeoPlus will be at Commercial UAV Expo next week. Uh, uh, tell us, uh, what, what are you showcasing there? Yes, well, we, we, we will showcase our, our main product and it's, it's obviously a UAV Expo, but we, uh, LiDAR drone are coming much more uh, affordable in the market. Let's say it's, it was, uh, it used to be a lot pricey or way pricier uh, just a couple of years ago. So right now, a lot of a lot of people are are using lidar on drone right now, and they they're trying to figure out a little bit to like I said, it's very time consuming. It's a lot of data. You don't know, you really don't know where to wrap your head around. So we're trying to trying to help this client to to be confident and of course uh, uh, encourage the, the the drone industry and the lidar industry. So and it's been our Fourth year, we're going to this show in Vegas. It's and it, it's Vegas, so it's always uh, always a fun time out there, and it's always good to to connect back with the people every year. Okay, and uh, uh, what is the best way for our audience to find out more about Geo Plus on the internet? Uh, well, we do have a website, uh, geo geoeventplus.com, and or a web YouTube page. Um, I think it's Geo Plus Soft. I'm not sure. We make it, maybe you can you can add the link on the on the video. But it's uh, Geo Plus on the, on YouTube, and you you should be able to find us. And obviously, all our social network, LinkedIn, uh, and we do have Instagram and Facebook. Okay, and, and uh, TikTok is it's it's slowly uh, engineer are not really on TikTok, but we're starting to we're trying new things, but mainly YouTube and LinkedIn. Okay, okay, and and Sam. Uh, um, can I ask you a few personal questions? Of course. Uh, so what do you do for fun outside work or what is your personal passion? Uh, I like I like to do a bit of sport. It's, 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 it's nice to try to stay in shape. And I, I'm Canadian, so obviously I'm playing hockey during the winter. Uh, in the summer, uh, golf, obviously. And uh, I, just, I just came back from a fishing trip in, uh, in uh, Gatsby's. You know, it was beautiful. So yeah, a little bit of... I like to be outdoors. Oh, okay, okay. And and Sam, uh, can you also share something about yourself that most people at Geo Plus who work with you don't know about you? <laughs> well, I can I can tell you something that nobody at Geo Plus know about me. Uh, I'm, it's it's been a couple of months I haven't been, but I do have a subscription or a, at a hot yoga studio. So hmm. I think it's good. Uh, yeah, so I do hot yoga. Okay, and uh, how hot is hot yoga? Uh, uh, what is the temperature? 
it is it is pretty hard i mean it's it's a good challenge and uh, it obviously depends of, of the teacher or the, or the the yoga instructor but uh yeah it, i think it's um I'm, I'm sorry i can do fahrenheit but i think it's 48 celsius so uh i'm, I'm very bad with the, with fahrenheit but it's i i'm pretty sure it's uh, above uh, 100 100 fahrenheit wow oh uh, <laughs> that must be tough <laughs> and, and you have one hour long session uh yeah it's hour an hour and a half me uh maybe an hour quarter i'm not, I'm not sure but uh, at least an hour <laughs> okay yeah okay. it's it's a time i left i left my phone uh watch and you just uh you just don't think about anything and you just try to let go it's good for the mind good for the body no that's awesome that's awesome and and final question sam cats yep. or dogs uh yeah that, that's that's the easy one uh because dogs dog, i'm a i'm a dog guy obviously i like to uh we we do have a, a dog at home and and always had dog growing up so yeah but we we i had cats from here and here when uh but yeah i'm a, I'm a dog guy and what type of dog do you have now uh we it's a rescue it's a chihuahua me and my girlfriend we we did we we have a chihuahua for it's been three years now and it's it's a good city dog <laughs> <laughs> okay okay that, that, that's awesome uh, uh, how old is he is he two years old now uh she that's a girl she's she's two and a half i think we got her okay. pretty young uh, we had her at six months i think okay that's good that's awesome but th- thank you sam for uh, uh, uh thanks a lot for taking time to record this interview have a great day and stay safe thanks to you uh, sanjay thanks a lot okay, there's sanjay gangal from gis cafe